So this lab was built by the Chinese uh, solar e classroom. So, okay, so let's just enter here and see what it's like. Okay. So, for now, what do you guys do here? Yeah, we. This is it. We so, Okay, this is the computer lab. This was given to us um, by the Chinese Embassy through the former vice president of the Republic of Liberia office to make the, this to Basora as a promise made earlier before. So at least she instructed us this could be a, uh, this could benefit the county and that of the students at Basora. Okay. Yeah. But I see that uh, even though it's an e-lab, you say that computer, I've not seen, I've not seen a few computers. Yeah, yet. so, uh, like, the, I think if you ever have an principal, we have, we, uh, when the Chinese were building this, they put some security measures in place. So for our laptop, they got a storage area. So here's the storage area, we store all of the laptop, and we got a time, whenever we're ready to use it, we take it from there, and then the students make use of it. After that, we place it back into the... The, the box and then we seat it up. Yeah. So uh, uh, let's say uh, with this, how many students um, can you know can this area take? We take at most twenty five. So you, you want twenty five per section. Okay. Twenty five per section. Or run series of section daily. Okay. Yeah. So like uh, how many sessions do you run on a daily basis? Um, we take at most four sections per day, and we go like one hour per section. Okay. Yeah. And basically, we target our 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 seniors because when this program was introduced, they they never had the opportunity to have access to a computer when this program was introduced to pass our school. What we did was to bring in the senior class to get the uh, fundamental before leaving the world of high school. But for now, we try to extend it to 11th graders. But the problem is, you know, for Basel High, our classes are overcrowded. Okay. And bringing over Elon Free, we know it's a challenge. But we're still trying to manage and trying to arrange how the section would be so that all, almost all of them will be able to benefit. When you get in the Elon Free, you start to have hands on computer. That's what we're trying to do. So, come on. So, uh, those of you watching us, uh, you know, you say you're from Basel, you graduated from Basel High. I think there's a need for more computers in the school because, I mean, what he just said, uh, it's starting my heart. I mean, like getting to elongate before you start to have, you know, opportunity to learn about computers in the 21st century is something that we need to get rid of. But anyway, I see your name again. I'm Teddy Ali Benson. Yeah. Ali Benson. Yeah, Teddy Are you from, Ali Benson. You're from Idana? They were from Idana. <laughs> <laughs> they were my full follower here. So you related to the late president of Liberia? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would be possible, but actually, that was my very here. Okay, yeah. thank you so much, Mr. Benson. Okay. All right, so I'll just show you, and uh, one of the guys just sitting over there enjoying the travel, they're doing some work on the computer. But this is their e lab, and according to the information we've got, uh, this area was donated by the Chinese Embassy to the former press, uh, vice president, Joel Howard Taylor. We are staying in Grand Basso County. Keep watching. This is the county diary. We're telling you the untold stories of Liberia. <laughs> I Wow. So, so we enter in the lab. So, what, what are some of the things that you have here? Well, we, this is a physics lab, and we we engage our students into into real hands-on practical. We have like for the physics area, both of our materials are highly 
It doesn't really deal with chemicals. We only had our chapel stands, we use this, and then we also teach our children how to fix a uh, movie or movie oil that has to do with the movie machines. These are something that we engage because basically the stem program we run. So we had to do the children with hands on practical. So whatever they learn in the class, we teach them how to apply in the real world. Okay. Yeah, so that's how we do it. So this one for faces on it. Okay. And all of these materials are really being, uh, I must be grateful to our alumni in USA. And for years back, they have been, they bring behind the science program about so hard. Later on, the Peace School intercepted, and they have been doing extremely well. All of the recent material you may see here is from the Peace School. Before them, it was the alumni USA that supplied the lab and they were even compensating lab demonstrators to encourage the science program at Basel. And based on that, our students from Basel had a very unique science foundation when they entered university. They performed excellently in the science area. So we still encourage them to even do more. Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, so uh, we are leaving the lab. And which, what do you guys do in the open area? Okay, this is for. Um, our lab will be, our lab will start functioning actively on Monday. So over the weekend, they will be set up, and then we will bring in our students. We got students, like the students here. For security reasons, we can put all of the students to one area when school closes. So what happens is that when school opens, we bring all back, and we arrange this table in order so that we'll be able to know how many students attend the lab per section. Because we can take more than 40% as per the standard set for the last program. All right, thank you, Chief. Thank you. Okay, guys, so it's been a great time. And I want to say thanks to the principal, uh, thanks to the Mr. Allen and the rest of the team for speaking to us at Basa High. Uh, those of you who've been watching, I know some of you left this country over a century, you're out. You've got to come back to make some contribution to help make this institution a better place. My name is Emmanuel Kotu, on behalf of the entire team here. I want to say thanks to every one of you for watching this edition. Bye-bye from us here from Basra.